Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Randy and 2CUA. Um, doing a little work here with some mini circuits devices. Um, the situation I was running into, the reason I started this project, was that I wanted to receive NOAA uh, weather satellite images of their um, APT uh, transmissions which is automatic picture transmission and the problem is that the bandwidth of that transmission is 34 kilohertz and I don't really have anything to receive that wide. I was using my handheld um, on wide FM I think it was 10 or 15 kilohertz so the pictures were okay, the images were okay but not great <clears throat> plus the handheld is not all that sensitive uh, running it in that mode so then I got to thinking that's where I run into trouble usually <laughs> my uh, Yezu uh, FT897 uh, like a lot of the modern uh, ham transceivers and even handhelds now have um, FM broadcast on them and that's plenty wide that's wider than 34 kilohertz I think it's like 50 kilohertz or something like that anyway it's definitely wider that's the whole point um, so then the question was, how do I get that 137 megahertz um, frequency down to the broadcast band? And on that Yezu, actually, you can go like 10 megahertz below the 88. I think it starts at 88. I can actually get on the 78, um, and it still receives, and it's still just as sensitive um, down there, and, and the bandwidth is just as wide. So I figured that was a good place to put it. Um, or even just on the bottom of the FM band would have been fine. So what we've got here is um, <clears throat> this is kind of a test setup, really. Um, so I got the, our uh, Rigel, um arbitrary waveform generator providing a uh, signal to a bunch of attenuators. So I need to get it really, really low in signal amplitude um, for the amplifier to simulate, you know, a weak signal coming from a satellite in orbit. And then the other output, because it has two, is fed into the mixer. This is simulating my local oscillator. And, I mean, I do have a VCO, very nicely built, too, by the way. I like this thing. I just had a chance to wire it up, um, and I've got to chat with them about whether I want to use this one or a different one. So, I'm not going to use that yet, but this will suffice for testing purposes. And then um, that's fed into a mixer, which, again, is another mini search device. That's um, then fed into the spectrum analyzer. <clears throat> so, if, let's see if I can hold this up properly into a block diagram for you guys really quickly here. Here, let's see what we got here. So, you know, I got the antenna going in. I don't have a bandpass filter yet, I'm working on that. But basically, had in this setup, I had a minus 136 dBm, which is a really, really weak signal. That's like 0 0.0, what is it? 0 0.035 microvolts. That's really low. That's better than any receiver you're going to get. Um, ham radio wise that I'm aware of and so there's another a low noise amplifier um, with 23 dB of gain roughly and then goes into a mixer which has a 7.5 dB conversion loss loss and then the VCO which I'm simulating with the generator uh, from my local oscillator then the mixing goes on and you get a you know sum and difference and originals and all that um, and but I'm doing the difference, which is an IF of 78 megahertz in my case. And I'm going to feed that to my ham rig, and then I can take the audio, put it into the computer, and away we go. Hopefully, we'll get a good satellite image. So that was the goal. Just wanted to share. It. I it took me <laughs> a couple hours to get this all set up and adjusted the way I wanted, and so I just wanted to share it before I tore it all down. Um, it's nice to have the, the, the Rigel equipment to do this with um, and the mini circuits um, mixer. I'm going to do uh, separate videos, by the way, uh, subsequent videos on the low noise amplifier, which I'm really, really pleased with, i got to say. And that thing um, has performed beyond what their data sheet says. It's, it's um, specification for frequency goes from 100 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz and... Um, when I do the video, you'll see, but I put it on the 
uh, the spectrum analyzer over the tracking generator and I ran it out to one and a half gigahertz and it's like is that all you got so um, that was really nice um, worked out good and then there was some other issues I wanted to determine I'll do that when I do the video well the issue was I can still show you when I do it the issue was um, one was it flat which it was the other one was how sensitive is the device I mean it could have 23 dB gain but maybe it can't really work with really 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 weak signals very well that was a concern so um, I'll show you that when I do it and that ended up not being a concern actually um, <clears throat> by virtue of the fact that I just showed you the setup at a minus 136 dBm input to the LNA I still was able to get on the analyzer a minus 120 uh, dB signal on the output which is detectable uh, barely I might say but detectable by the Yezu on uh, the FM broadcast band so with a signal that's weaker than you would normally even be able to detect I'm able to actually be right on the edge of receiving that on the receiver so that sounds like it's going to work out really good at least on paper huh. and this kind of goes along with why do I like electronics too I guess and it's just a lot of fun you know doing all the design work and and um, having a lot of fun that's that's what it's all about so just thought I'd share that really quick with everyone can't think of anything else to do with that so again I'll have another video on the mixer the mixer is going to be just a generic um, <coughs> you know basics on mixers I'm not going to get into all the parameters that are surrounding mixers and intercept points and all that stuff um, just it's going to be more of a basic you know how do mixers work what are we using them for that kind of thing and then in the process you know be using the uh, mini circuits mixer and you can you can see that in action and then the other video will be on the LNA and again I'll show you that and uh, its ability to, to detect a really weak signal and still amplify it um, and I guess that's about it so thanks for watching and hopefully we'll get those other two videos done and I'm hoping sometime uh, next week so until then take care everyone and uh, we'll see you then